crazy fans. Princess Catherine debuts beautiful photos to celebrate her 41st birthday. Catherine might be a princess now, but she's far from high maintenance when it comes to celebrating her birthdays. As the Princess of Wales' 41st birthday approaches, it's likely she's looking forward to a quiet, relaxed time at home with her closest friends and family. She's even eschewed big celebrations on milestone birthdays before. While the nation got in on the festivities last year for her 40th birthday, celebrating with the release of three stunning portraits, Kate opted for a smaller, simpler gathering, inviting family and close friends to Anne Hall in Norfolk. It's where Kate has spent most of her birthdays since she married into the royal family. In 2019, she had a casual, pre-birthday celebration at her country house with some of her closest friends, including James and Laura Mead, godfather to Princess Charlotte and godmother to Prince Louis, respectively, and her school friend Amelia Jardine Patterson, godmother to Prince George, and Amelia's husband David. The group were seen attending church at Sandringham just a few days before Kate's birthday. In 2021, during the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, Kate once again celebrated with a relaxed affair at home in Norfolk. Only this time, she was reportedly thrown quite the tea party by Prince William and their three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. Kate Middleton turned the big 4-0 on January 9. Ahead of the milestone birthday, Kensington Palace released three stunning new portraits on Saturday. They were captured last November at London's Kew Gardens by Italian fashion photographer Paolo Reversi. In one image, the Duchess of Cambridge accessorizes a one-shoulder, red gown with diamond earrings from Queen Elizabeth's collection. In a side-profile image, the mother of three gives off ethereal vibes, showing off her iconic sapphire engagement ring and pearl drop earrings, both of which belong to the late Princess Diana. Lastly, the third photo of Kate echoes her mother-in-law's iconic 1997 photo shoot for Vanity Fair. All three portraits showcase the British label Alexander McQueen. Paolo Reversi, famed for working with industry stars like Naomi Campbell and Kate Moss, described photographing the Duchess as a moment of pure joy. With her positive energy he said the future Queen consort can bring hope to the whole world. The portraits will be displayed in Berkshire, St Andrews, and Anglesey, all places where the royal has lived. In 2023, they will enter the National Portrait Gallery's permanent collection. Taking to the official Twitter and Instagram accounts, Kate Middleton shared one of the portrait with caption, delighted to share a new portrait of the Duchess ahead of her 41st birthday. And although it is unclear exactly what her plans are for her birthday next week, one royal expert has claimed it's unlikely she will be throwing a lavish party or visiting a top-end West End restaurant. Kate's first birthday with a royal title was her 30th in January 2012. She had married William in April 2011 and decided that no birthday celebrations could rival that of the royal wedding, so her 30th birthday was spent enjoying a romantic meal with William at Kensington Palace. The Princess of Wales might be keen to keep things low-key this year for less enjoyable reasons, too. Her brother-in-law, Prince Harry, will release his much-anticipated memoir the day after Kate's birthday, January 10. It's understood that Harry's book, titled Spare, will be harsh in its criticism of both Kate and her husband, Prince William. Whether it's because of Harry's book, the very relatable parenting moment over Christmas or the need to catch up on her rest, it's likely Catherine will spend a well-deserved day relaxing at home. Will spend a well-deserved...